Let's take a look at a standard account and project workflow. Notifications can be sent to users. This one highlights Ringtail's monthly feature updates. Before we jump into a case, let's look at options for managing your account. Reports like this one provide volume and user statistics for each of your cases. You can create organizations to group your users and cases by client or department. New cases can be added or cloned from a template database you have already configured. New users can be created and assigned to cases. You can restrict access by date and time. Now let's go back to the case list and take a look inside a Ringtail case. Case Sitemap organizes Ringtail features into five areas. Review Setup is where you configure assignments and review queues. Analysis contains advanced tools like Concepts, Predictive Models, and Cal. Case Setup is where you configure tagging. Manage Documents is where you get data in and out of Ringtail. Security is where you configure who has access to what in the database. As an admin, I see a lot here, but this screen is reduced for most users based on their roles. Let's imagine we are going to add data using the processing module called Ingestions. Upload stages data for processing right from your desktop using the Browse button. We offer a product called Aspera to assist you in uploading larger data volumes. You can check this box to process the data as soon as it is uploaded. It will process using the default settings configured with this wizard. You can use folders within your upload to indicate values to be tracked in metadata fields. Set deduplication, restrict by date, exclude NIST files, and or exclude by file category. You can choose to only bring in hits for a particular keyword list. You can designate where the data should be loaded and how to number it. Choose time zone, to index and enrich, and to identify PII and languages. Let's look at a complete ingestion that included email for two custodians. Reports show documents loaded per custodian and file type. You can open a link to see which files resulted from an ingestion. Let's explore this first set. Ringtail opens the documents in a simple Browse and List workspace. Workspaces organize which document views are active. The list offers a linear look with visual cues for document coding, type, and keyword hits. The list can also be configured to show email threading. Browse lets you open document sets or explore the attributes of the documents you have open. For example, you can open this binder simply by clicking on it. Now you can learn more about these documents. You can see the counts for keywords, concepts, people, and organizations. You can also explore the overlap between this document set and other binders. 27 of these documents are also in the Important Documents binder. You can look at the overlap by checking this box and choosing the working list. You can view and code these documents in a new workspace on a second monitor. Let's open them in a workspace called View, Related, and Code to look at these in more detail. View contains a content hit highlighted view, a true native view, and redaction options. For searchable PDFs, you can choose to redact a word or phrase across the document. The related pane informs you about documents related to those in your list. For example, this document is part of a family. There is a cover email, this PDF, and an Excel. 
The Office Online Native Viewer is particularly useful for Excel documents. On the right, conditional coding guides reviewers and reduces coding clicks. Tagging non-relevant and not privileged means the document is fully coded. Tagging non-relevant and privileged prompts you to fill a privilege designation in. Tagging a non-relevant document with relevance issues prompts a warning message. You can also save coding combinations that reviewers can apply with one click. Coding history tracks changes, allowing you to see the past coding on a given document. We've been looking at documents in a linear way. We can add new panes to learn more. Let's use the Browse, Time, Map, List workspace. The map displays each document as a dot, and the documents are organized based on their content into clusters of like documents. Map is useful for review, quality control, and investigations. The document in the center of each cluster is the one most responsible for the other documents being in that cluster based on the concepts they have in common. The color represents the document coding and is the same as the color of the icon in the list. Therefore, you can identify when documents in the same cluster are coded differently. Above the map, Timeline's bar graph shows the distribution of documents over time. Documents selected in the Browse pane are selected in the Map, Timeline, and the List. Map shows what the documents are about. Timeline shows when those topics were in play. You can use another workspace to see who communicated with whom. Browse shows the names and organizations. but a visualization can show the conversations. Let's open a linked workspace again. This time, let's use the communication workspace. This workspace has two panes, domain network and communication. On the right, the domain network displays the domains involved. On the left, you see who was talking to whom. We see the sent email of Sally Beck and Vince Kaminsky. The list gives counts for how many emails were sent and received for each individual. Let's explore the next biggest player in the list, Shirley Crenshaw. Let's clear the screen and select only Shirley Crenshaw. Let's use sent email as it is more indicative of whom a person corresponds with. Let's refresh that visualization and take a look. You can see who Crenshaw spoke with, what they spoke about, and when it happened. If you select keyword hits in Browse, they are selected in the timeline, the map, and the list and in the communication workspace. Now you know whose communications contain your keywords. Using these workspaces, review can occur until documents are coded. Let's imagine you want to check on the review status. Review dashboard tracks the review and predicts how long until the review completes. Individual reviewer breakdowns show if a reviewer is unproductive or over tagging. Let's assume that some of the documents are ready for production. Page numbering and sort order are configured here on the Production Attributes page. Production rules designate which docs receive natives, images, placeholders, and content files. Redactions or highlights are chosen to be applied as white, black, or grayscale. Footer endorsements include advanced options for multiple footers within the same production. Quality checks for native, image, and content files before finalizing the production. You can click on this link to find the documents that need text files before continuing. 
Once you are done, you can lock and print the production. This production can be cloned to create a new production with the same settings. Ringtail tracks production history using snapshots called renditions. Once the production is complete, you can export the production using standard load files. Ringtail can also use these load file formats to import received data for your review. That's a quick end-to-end -end look at some common Ringtail workflows. If you'd like to see more, please contact sales at ringtail.com.